We leave Edfu in the direction of Komombo. We arrive at Jibel Sicily, about 145 kilometers south of Luxor and 65 kilometers north of Aswan. It is the point where the Nile is the most narrow, around 400 meters rather than the normal width of one kilometer. It was the preferred place for the veneration of the river, which had made the country and continued to support its life. At the extreme north of the site, on the western bank, is the great Speos of Horemheb, the most important monument of the site. Many kings and nobles have left their mark with stels, sanctuaries and chapels, and the 32 cenotaphs built into the cliffs that we watch passing before our eyes. Jebel Sicily started out as a sandstone quarry, the sunstone par excellence, during the New Kingdom. The good quality stone was easily accessible and transportable thanks to the closeness of the Nile. Many pharaohs, including Tutmosis I and Hatshepsut, used the stone from the quarry. Akhenaton extracted the stone for his sun temple to the east of Karnak. About 750 meters from the Speos of Horemheb, there are three royal chapels next to each other dug into the cliff, built during the reigns of Seti I, Ramses II, and his son Meremta. These stell chapels are dedicated to the flooding of the Nile.
The tutelary god of Jepel Sicily was the crocodile Sobek, to whom the temple Komombo is partly dedicated. The boat prepares to dock a few dozen meters from the temple. This is what Komombo must have looked like at the time of its splendor around the year 300 AD. The temple was started during the reign of Ptolemy VI, about 200 BC, and was finally inaugurated around 300 AD, probably during the reign of Macrinus. We can see him here on the eastern wall of the outside corridor, but the foundations date back to the New Kingdom. The temple is built on a plateau bordered by two branches now dried up of the Nile. This was the cause of the collapse of the temple's buildings. Later, the temple served as a quarry and the pillage by man did the rest. I'm going to focus on this photo because it shows clearly the singularity of the temple. It is dedicated to two deities, Haoris, the falcon, and Sobek, the crocodile, who each have distinct processional axes and sanctuaries. To these two divinities, the priests added a consort and a son, forming the two triads of Komombo. Here we can see Hathor and Tasnet Nefret. Haoris, or Horus the Elder, is associated to Tasnet Nefret, whose name means the perfect sister. Their son is the god Panep Tauri, whose name means the Lord of the Two Lands. Sobek, who is sometimes called Sobek Rey, has his consort Hathor and son Konsu. Crocodiles were raised in the pool inside the temple. On their death, they were mummified and buried in a special necropolis. You can see them in a museum in the village of Komombo, less than a kilometer from the temple. See you at the next video for a guided tour of the temple.